volcanoes are one of the Earth's most destructive forces. When erupted, these volcanoes release molten lava flows, explosive pyroclastic blasts, and billowing ash clouds. These petrifying natural disasters average 50 to 70 times a year, showcasing the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet's geologic activity. From the April 2015 eruption of Chile's Calbuco volcano to the continuous eruption of Mount Stromboli in Sicily, we'll show you the best footage of the craziest eruptions from around the world. Number 5. Red Hot Chile Terror the Calbuco is a stratovolcano in southern Chile, located southeast of Xiangkiwe Lake and northwest of Chapo Lake in the Los Lagos region. Being a stratovolcano means that it is a conical volcano built up by many layers of hardened lava and tephra. The volcano is known for its historical eruptions with the most recent measured at Volcanic Explosivity Index 4 or VEI-4. In April 2015, the Calbuco volcano unexpectedly erupted and caught many by surprise, leading to widespread disruption and damage. The eruption began on April 22 with a series of explosions and ash plumes reaching an insane height of 11 miles. The VEI-4 indicated that the eruption had the potential to cause regional damage. The ash plume affected nearby towns and cities including Puerto Montt and Puerto Varas as well as other areas in southern Chile and neighboring Argentina. When the Calbuco volcano erupted, it caused several immediate and long-term impacts with one being the disruption of air travel in the region. The volcanic ash posed a threat to aviation as it could damage the aircraft's engines. Moreover, several airports in Chile and Argentina were closed down due to the ash clouds. This resulted in the cancellation and delay of numerous flights affecting both domestic and international travel. The Calbuco volcanic eruption also had significant environmental impacts. The ash from the eruption destroyed crops, impacted livestock, and damaged wildlife habitats. The ash also contaminated fresh water sources, posing risks to human health and local ecosystems. The disruption of air travel, closure of businesses, and loss of agricultural and livestock resources resulted in financial losses for local communities and industries, particularly those resilient on tourism, agriculture, and forestry. This highlighted the need for robust disaster preparedness and response measures in volcanic-prone regions. Number 4. Fuego Volcano At number 4 on this list, we have Guatemala's Fuego Volcano. The Fuego Volcano is the most active volcano located near the city of Antigua. It is known for its long history of frequent explosive eruptions, pyroclastic flows and lajas. This volcano is part of the Central American Volcanic Arc, a chain of volcanoes that stretches from Mexico to Panama. Similar to the Calbuco, Fuego is also a 12,342 feet tall stratovolcano that has steep slopes and a conical shape. The Fuego volcano has erupted frequently over the last few years. The eruption was explosive in nature, where pyroclastic flows commonly occurred. These pyroclastic flows are fast-moving avalanches of hot volcanic gas, ash and debris that can travel down the slopes of the volcano at high speeds, posing a significant threat to nearby communities. These eruptions also produced lajas, which are mud flows that occur when volcanic material mixes with water and runs down valleys posing risks to communities downstream. Due to the 2018 eruption of Fuego Volcano, 201 people lost their lives, 27 were severely injured, and 260 went missing. The volcano emitted a 5-mile stream of hot lava and a dense plume of black smoke and ash that blanketed Guatemala's capital city and other surrounding regions. The continuous eruption of the Fuego volcano has led to the closure of airports in the Guatemalan region. This resulted in the cancellation and delay of numerous flights, affecting both domestic and international travel. With the absence of tourists, Guatemala is facing a severe economic crisis as it mostly relies on tourism. The government and local authorities have been working to implement measures for monitoring and mitigating the risks posed by the Fuego volcano. These include setting up monitoring stations, establishing evacuation plans, and providing emergency assistance to affected communities. 
Number 3. Insanity in Italy On the small island of Stromboli in Sicily, Italy, there exists a unique and captivating volcano called Mount Stromboli. What makes this volcano captivating and unique is its persistent and continuous volcanic activity. Because of this feature, it was given the nickname Lighthouse of the Mediterranean. The volcano has been erupting almost constantly for over 2,000 years with small, regular explosions that send bursts of incandescent lava fragments into the air, creating a spectacular sight, especially at night. After roughly every 20 minutes to a few hours, glowing lava fragments shoot up to several hundred meters in the air before falling back to the slopes of the volcano, creating a mesmerizing view. The reason why these frequent eruptions occur is pretty interesting. Mount Stromboli is part of the Aeolian Islands, which are a chain of volcanic islands formed by the subduction of the African tectonic plate beneath the Eurasian plate. This subduction process creates a conduit for magma to reach the surface, resulting in these constant eruptions seen at Mount Stromboli. Even though Mount Stromboli is erupting constantly, it has still become a popular tourist destination in Italy due to its natural spectacle. Tourists from all over the world arrive at Stromboli just to experience this magical eruption happening at night. However, these eruptions can pose a risk to nearby populations and infrastructure, and local authorities closely monitor the volcano's activity to ensure the safety of residents and visitors alike. Nonetheless, Mount Stromboli stands as a testament to the enduring and dynamic nature of volcanic activity on Earth, providing a window into the geological forces that shape our planet's landscape. Number 2. Indonesian Excretion Mount Sinabung, located in North Sumatra, Indonesia, is a stratovolcano known for its recent eruptive activity after being inactive for over 400 years. The volcano reawakened in 2010 and has erupted more than 15 times ever since, making it one of the most active volcanoes in Indonesia. Experts believe that Mount Sinabung reawakened because of its location. It lies along the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is a region with intense tectonic activity. The subduction of the Indo-Australian plate beneath the Eurasian plate in the area creates a favorable environment for magma to reach the surface and trigger volcanic eruptions. These volcanic eruptions resulted in pyroclastic flows, ash clouds and lava flows, causing significant damage to the surrounding area. Due to these frequent eruptions, thousands of people from nearby villages have been relocated to safer locations. The eruptions also damaged homes, infrastructure and agricultural lands. Despite its recent eruptions, Mount Sinabung still draws attention for its unique and dynamic geological processes. It is serving as a natural laboratory for studying volcanic activities where scientists can better understand the complex mechanisms that drive eruptions and their impacts. The ongoing eruptions of Mount Sinabung are a testament to the powerful and unpredictable nature of volcanism and how we should be prepared for the future. Scientists are working on developing ways to predict volcanic eruptions so that their damages can be minimized. Technologies such as GPS and radar-based monitoring, ground-based and satellite-based monitoring systems, geochemical monitoring, acoustic and infrasound monitoring, thermal imaging and remote sensing can help in effectively monitoring and predicting volcanic eruptions. Number 1. Fagradalsviak Eruption at number one on the list, we have the eruption of Fagradalsviak in Iceland. The volcano recently erupted in March 2021 and was a significant volcanic event that captured worldwide attention. On March 19, in the Geldingadula Valley near the Fagradalsviak mountain, located about 40 kilometers southwest of Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland. The eruption was an effusive eruption that was characterized by the slow and continuous flow of lava rather than explosive eruptions with ash clouds. Lava fountains and lava flows were observed, with molten rock pouring out from fissures in the ground, creating stunning displays of fiery red lava against the night sky. Unlike other volcanic eruptions that happen mostly in inaccessible locations, the Fagradalsviak eruption happened in an area that was accessible to the people. This allowed people to witness the volcanic activity up close and was a unique and rare opportunity for scientists, tourists and locals to observe and study an active volcanic eruption. 
since Fagradalsvik mountain was located in a remote location and the eruption was effusive in nature, it had minimal impacts on human population and infrastructure. There were no immediate threats to human life and no significant damage to infrastructure or disruptions to transportation. However, precautions were taken to ensure public safety, including monitoring gas emissions and providing guidelines for visitors to the eruption site. Due to an easy accessibility of the Fagra Dalsviak, its eruption provided scientists valuable data and insights into volcanic processes. Scientists closely monitored the eruption, studied the composition of the erupted lava, measured gas emissions, and analyzed seismic activity to gain a better understanding of the underlying geology and dynamics of the eruption. This can contribute to our understanding of volcanic activity and help us predict and mitigate volcanic hazards in the future.